Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C Sharp. This is episode 10 and it's called Password Selection. In this challenge, we're going to ask the user to input a password, and then proceed on to asking them to confirm that password. If they entered the same password both times, then we want to say that their password is accepted. Otherwise, we're going to say that the two passwords did not match. If you want to attempt this challenge yourself, then hit that pause button now when we get started. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to ask the user for to enter in a password. then we'll store that in a string called password and so the read line and then uh, we'll ask them to confirm their password and store that in a different variable called confirmed password and then we want to do an if statement to check that the password this variable is equal to this variable and the way we do that is by doing double equals so when we're checking that something is equal to something else we need to remember that it's double equals and not just a single equal Visual Studio will actually on plain because that's not a conditional statement um, what it would actually do if you just had one equal is that it would try to assign this value to that value and the compiler is throwing some issues here but if you were to write this in JavaScript for example it might let you do that um, but then you wouldn't get the functionality that you're going for so in here we can say the password has been accepted for example and then in our else statement we'll say um, the two passwords you entered did not match, for example. Okay, so if we run that, ask me for a password, so I'm just going for password1, and then to confirm my password, I want to write password2, let's say, and I just said the two passwords you entered did not match. So if I run that again and try to do it properly this time, password one, and then I confirm my password with password one again, password has been accepted. And there you go, that's how you compare and check that two strings are matching each other. I hope this was uh, another easy one for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Um, or we're obviously doing a 100 coding challenges so our challenges will be progressively getting harder and harder we're still in an easy phase at the moment but I promise it will get a bit more challenging if you're finding these too easy um, so make sure to stick around and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one